Intel's fall. From Silicon Valley leader to struggling giant Intel, once a pioneer in semiconductor technology and a powerhouse in Silicon Valley, now finds itself grappling with massive layoffs, suspended dividends, and plummeting stock prices. Before we go on, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It's one of the best ways you can support the channel and help others find this video. The company, once synonymous with innovation, announced a 15% reduction in its workforce after facing a dramatic revenue drop and billions in losses in its chip foundry business. Today, the Hillsborough-based company announced that they are laying off 15% of their workforce as part of a $10 billion cost reduction strategy. Tell one of the biggest employers in the East Valley announced that they're laying off 15% of their workforce. Another look at Intel down 27%. It is the worst day in 50 years, but it was already down 40% this year going into today's trading. This was all came after a week second quarter result last night. They announced a $10 billion cost savings program that includes thousands of layoffs and a halt on those dividend payments. As of the most recent trading day, Intel's stock price closed at $21.48, its lowest since 2013. These struggles represent the largest downturn for Intel in half a century, and even drastic measures may not be enough to restore the company to its former glory. Intel's current troubles didn't happen overnight. The decline began in April 2023 when the company disclosed a staggering $7 billion loss in its chip manufacturing division for the year, combined with a 31% decrease in revenue compared to 2022. The company's CEO, Pat Gelsinger, pointed out that cost-saving measures would help Intel recover $10 billion by 2025. However, given the fierce competition from rival chip makers like NVIDIA, these efforts may be too little, too late. The foundation of Intel's rise and its struggles. Founded in the 1960s, Intel was at the forefront of semiconductor technology, essential to everything from smartphones to aircraft. Co-founder Gordon Moore was responsible for the iconic Moore's Law, predicting that semiconductor power would grow exponentially smaller, cheaper, and more powerful over time. For decades, Intel thrived on this principle, consistently leading the tech industry. Fast forward to today, Intel no longer holds the innovative edge it once did. Competitors like NVIDIA and Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, are not only catching up, but surpassing Intel in critical sectors, especially in AI and chip manufacturing. This competitive pressure has left Intel in a precarious position, forced to rely on cost-cutting measures to maintain its operations the catalyst for Intel's struggles. The current layoffs follow a trend as Intel also made deep cuts in October 2022 after the brief boom it experienced during the COVID-19 pandemic. According to Stacy Rasgan, a senior analyst at Bernstein Research, Intel overestimated its post-pandemic revenue potential, leading to unrealistic targets. The demand for remote work technology during the pandemic surged and just as quickly evaporated, leaving Intel overinvested in a business that faded as normalcy resumed. Pat Gelsinger, who took the helm in 2021, inherited a company that had already been stumbling for a decade. He was faced with a business that lacked a competitive edge in key emerging technologies, particularly in artificial intelligence, AI. NVIDIA, under the leadership of Jensen Huang, had already solidified its dominance in AI, leaving Intel scrambling to catch up. A costly gamble on the foundry business. Intel's most recent bet lies in its foundry business, setting up facilities in the US and abroad to produce semiconductor chips. This ambitious endeavor, however, has been plagued by missteps. For example, Intel initially decided against investing in more cost-effective extreme ultraviolet machines for its production facilities, ultimately leading the company to outsource 30% of its manufacturing to its rival, TSMC. These miscalculations further eroded Intel's standing in the market. Missing the AI revolution. Historically, Intel was the company pushing the limits of technology, staying ahead of the curve. But as Daniel Newman, CEO of the Futurum Group, observed, Intel missed out on the AI revolution. 
NVIDIA and other competitors such as AMD and TSMC capitalized on AI's potential early, creating chips capable of accelerating AI technologies. NVIDIA's early work in gaming graphics cards translated seamlessly to AI, allowing the company to dominate the sector well before AI tools like ChatGPT entered the public consciousness. By contrast, Intel was slow to invest in AI, and its competitors took full advantage of this delay. NVIDIA's success, in particular, stemmed from its strategic investments in research and acquisitions that allowed it to ride the wave of AI's explosive growth. Intel's attempts to play catch-up, such as its Gaudi technology, have so far failed to make a dent in the market. Moreover, high-profile clients like Apple have already abandoned Intel, choosing to produce their own chips starting in 2020. Is there a path forward? Despite its current troubles, Intel isn't down for the count just yet. The company has paused stock dividends and is cutting costs to stay afloat. Additionally, government subsidies from the CHIPS Act and investments from major hedge funds like Brookstone and Apollo provide Intel with a temporary lifeline. However, as Daniel Newman points out, Intel's long-term recovery hinges on whether it can make its foundry business profitable. Even if Intel doesn't regain its former spot at the top of the semiconductor industry, it could still find success as a second or third tier player, providing essential infrastructure for the growing demand for AI technologies. As Newman explained, the rapid pace of AI innovation requires as many players in the field as possible, Intel included. The uncertain future of AI and Intel there are still questions surrounding AI's future in both the tech sector and society at large. With rapid growth comes concerns about sustainability. Experts, including Raskin, have pointed out that the massive boom in AI investment could be setting the stage for future problems. For now, Intel's future is uncertain, but the silver lining? After such a steep fall, there's only one direction left to go up.